Today we're going to look at the autofocus plunger assembly on the Helix, but it also applies to the Mini 18, Mini 24, and Legend 24 EXT. So for this exercise you'll need a medium point Phillips screwdriver and a 564 Allen wrench standard. So what we're going to do is provide a job to the machine by clicking on print and we're going to choose the helix as our printer and preferences. Pretty standard steps. Now at this point if we want to use the autofocus plunger assembly having the laser table find the surface of the material we're going to be sure to make the autofocus checkbox active by clicking the box so making sure that is checked that will turn on the autofocus feature right here. So with our job sent to the machine we are ready to push go but we need to make sure that our material is in the upper left corner so in a hypothetical newbie situation you might push the material up to the upper left corner as correct but in the software you did not tell it to go to the upper left so it is still thinking that it should print out in the middle of the table I'm hypothetically going to crash the machine on purpose to show you how to get out of this situation. So if we push go, we're going to see that move out over the middle of the table. So the problem here is we have started the job, pushed go, we incorrectly positioned our plate or our job in the middle of the table when we should have pushed it to the left, upper left. And now our plunger is stuck in our vector grid. So the fix to this procedure is to first power off the unit. So we're going to turn the power off to the machine. It's right around the side. Once you have powered off the unit, now what you want to do is step back and open the front door. If your machine is stuck up against the assembly, what you want to do is power off the unit, open the front door, and there is a belt that runs this way along the back, or on the bottom. We're going to take the belt. And we're going to turn the belt counterclockwise, and this is releasing the table. And as we turn that belt, that is releasing the table from the collision up against the plunger over here, and releasing the jam on the right side where the ruler is. So with our table being lowered, manually by pulling on this belt right here counterclockwise that is bringing the table down. So we continue to bring the table down till we see that it is all clear. So we'll verify that there's no more collision. We'll close the front door and then what we're going to do is take another look at the plunger assembly. So we see that with the machine powered off, we can take our carriage and move this left and right. Then we're gonna make sure that we go ahead and flip our rulers down. Then we can turn on the machine. But we have to be sure there is no collision anywhere, any material, or be sure that the plunger is not stuck inside the table. If you push stop and reset and the plunger is still inside or close to, then you run the risk of the table trying to finish the focus coming back up and dragging back across the grid table. So to be sure to get out of that situation, remember, power off the unit, open the front door, pull the belt to lower the table down. Then once you have clearance from any ruler, collision, plunger assembly or material, now you can turn the machine back on to be sure it initializes correctly. And it should always initialize in the back to the left correctly. 
So we power up the unit and that's going to move to the back. To the left. And now once it's in the back left corner correctly, we can resend the job that's got autofocus with it. Make sure that our job or our plate and all of our rulers are in the right place. Fold it down with the rulers and the job is where we need it to be and the material is inside the machine. So when we push go, that will autofocus. So that autofocus is up into a little plunger assembly on rack back behind the lens assembly.